Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just doing something with all my favorite brands that I like to use. So I've already primed my face and I recently uploaded a video to my Instagram about my skincare routine, my morning skincare routine. So you can check that out. And so normally what I start off with when I'm doing my makeup is I use a lip balm and my fa I always just grab the one that's quickest for me. But my favorite one is Catrice, any Catrice brand or any Catrice type, they have a few different ones. And I've recently started using this kind of colored one, it's slightly pink, Carmax um, Plus lip balm and it's a pink one. I got this in Primark. So you can get this in a few different shades but I just picked up the pink because I love pink and yes yeah, so I, I always start off with some Carmax or something similar. Then what I normally like to use is like something as a base so when it comes into winter, summer I'm not as concerned because my skin doesn't really get dry in winter even in the, in the heat and the sun but in the cold weather my skin really dries and what I used last year was the ordinary silicone primer and I actually used this because my sister got it and I just tried hers and then I decided to get it this year and I just apply this all over my face. So next up is foundation and the ordinary foundation I really like. Um, I do find it to say it's high coverage, it's not the highest coverage but it is quite high and I used a, so, a Sosumi sponge and I just pumped two or three pumps on the sponge and then I just pat it all over my skin. And I really pat it into the skin and I keep patting until I feel there's no product left on the sponge and it's actually synced into my skin because otherwise it comes off my skin very easily throughout the day. So the more pats you do, the longer it'll last. So for concealer today, I'm going to use the Rimmel Matte Perfection. And I really like this. This is in the color Pelican, so it's super light. What I like to do is put it on the back of my hand and then pat it onto my skin. If I'm in a rush, I'll just do it normally from the container, but if I have an extra minute, I'll do it from my hand. Then normally what I do is I always leave it for a few minutes, and while I'm leaving the foundation set into my skin and settle in, I do my eyebrows. So I'm using the Makeup Revolution Freedom Eyebrow Powder in color Soft Brown. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to contour with a contour stick. So I used the Sosumi Contour Stick in the color Cool. I felt like the warm was just a little too dark for my skin when I was looking at it. So I went for the Cool, which seems to work well whether I have um, tan on or I don't have tan on. And I do that with my contour, a little on top, a little on the bottom, a little on the sides. Just so when I'm doing my highlighter, it gives me that little bit more of a button nose. Another bit you can also contour is like under your lip. Make your lips a little bit more stand out and a little bit over. So that gives you that outline of your lips that they're popping out and then you stick some highlighter and your cupid's bow as well. And if I use a contour stick, I prefer to buff it out with a brush first. Um, I just find when I use a sponge, I'm kind of patting, pushing it to move it. Um, and when I use a sponge, it just kind of glides real smoothly across my skin. And this one, so assume one, is super buttery as well. So it is good for, for movability. Just kind of glide over my lips. Because you don't want to buff it away at all, but you want to keep, keep the fullness looking in your lips. I might do a separate video just on how to get bigger looking lips because when I powder and bake in a minute you'll see it gets rid of that almost dirty look that it might have now and then the nose I like to brush up first just so you get that shape here as you can see as it's going up see here and here and you can see the shape is starting to evolve at this side and bringing it into your eye makes the shape look that bit more natural. And over and back on the nose and on the top, you can do like over and back, a little bit of a circle motion, depending on what kind of nose shape you want to achieve. I don't want my nose to look super slim and like it's completely baked. I just want it to look a little bit shaped and not the middle of my face is completely white either. Then I go over the whole lot, just patting it in, making sure my brush didn't leave any lines. Then I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow first, 
and what I'm going to use is this Makeup Revolution palette. I just think it has all the fun colours that you could ever need and it's super cheap and affordable and also good. So once you look at your face and you're fully happy then you go ahead and do whatever you want next. I prefer to do my eyes because then if there is any fallout it's easily wiped away by the foundation rather than the powder on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this shade here that's a bit sparkly and I'm going to mix it in with the shade that's above it. So these two shades. This has a little bit of shimmer and this doesn't. And I'm going to use a Kira Daily fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend them in along my crease. Just back and forth and when you come to the outer corner, give it a little bit of circle motion and then back in. This, when you do the circular motion on the outside, it stops that dead because if you just go do 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 and then all of a sudden stop here you can leave it a build up of a bit of colour there so if you do circular motion you're kind of blending it and bring it back in and then I'm going to go in with a Sigma brush this is Sigma E25 and I'm going to use this shade here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a drop of jaw line into it so I'll show you as I do it you just get the palette you do like a drop or two in you get your brush and you just give it a little swirl. You don't want to put too much in because then it makes the product a little bit too tacky or too liquidy kind of. And you don't want it really liquidy. And I really like this Sigma brush for packing on any pigment or any shimmers because it's, it's super fluffy but you can make it flat and really build it up. Build up around it and build the product onto the brush and it actually goes onto your eyes. Um, other, some other brushes don't really pack on fully. So you can see as it's going on there, it's really packing it in. Then because this brush is quite wet, kind of the wet effect after the Jura line, we'll go in with another brush to kind of blend it out. I'm going to go back in with the first shade just to darken it up. Then I want to go in with another brush, this brush, which is quite fluffy and quite big, and I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is a little bit shimmery as well, and I'm going to use that to blend out the two colours that I have on now, just kind of patting on in between, and it will help give that gradual kind of effect without doing a full on cut crease and I will use this same shimmer colour for under my eyes as well when I get to there. Now I'm going to finish off the rest of my eyes after I bake because it's underneath and then expanding a little but I'm just going to do the other eye off camera to save some time. So just done the other eye off camera just to get them to kind of measure up a little bit and they're looking good so I'm going to go in and bake so because I was doing some facial expressions that kind of have the creases under my eyes so I want to get rid of them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Catrice Nude Illusions Loose Powder. And I'm going to grab a brush first and I'm going to pat it all into my skin. Like that. Right up. Just because I don't want to bake directly underneath. Because if you bake directly underneath your eye, that's when you can be left with some creases. If you have any creases, if you have super smooth skin, then go ahead and bake however you want. So I'm going to use the Juno sponge. And I'm just going to bake a little bit up my nose and to the side. On both sides. My chin, I'm just going to pat it in. Kind of all over my lips. Just ever so slightly. Like that on my nose. And then I'm just going to brush some over my forehead. And I don't leave any of it on for too long. Just like a couple of seconds. And then I'll brush it off. So then for under my eyes, the same colour that I used, the same colour that I used on the second lot of creasing, um, I'm going to use that same shimmery colour underneath. Just 
to give it a little bit of pout. So I'm going to brush away leftover on my face and it does leave you quite bright looking and quite white but I'm going to go in with some bronzer and stuff as well. Bronze up the whole lot but it really just gives you that smooth effect when you pat it on first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in with this a type of flat brush. See, it's like a almost like a really thin rectangle. I'm go, gonna go in with this end shade here that has a bit of shimmer, but it's still quite dark. I'm just gonna pat it onto the brush, almost like a wing, but then really blend it out. And then you're gonna go in with another brush and just brush it up a bit more. You just don't want to brush it down anymore. You want to keep it up and high. And then I'm going to go in with some Rimmel False Lash Mascara. And we're just going to apply a little layer before we put on lashes. And while the mascara is setting, we're going to go in and bronze the Rimmel Kate Bronze Trio. So I like to kind of just use them all, but then add a little bit of the darkest one last. And we're going to contour but then we're just gonna blend it out a little smidge and we'll go back in to contour a little more. So you just wanna pack it on where you normally put your contour, but then just kind of slightly blend it out all over your face. That, and then you're gonna go in with the lighter shade, pinch your brush and just dab on the nose. <laughs> Then we're going to go in with the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Breezy Palette. Highlighting, highlighting palette and just highlight. Boom. Okay, you replace it on the cupid's bow and it gives that full looking lip. So then for lashes, she knows. For lashes, I'm going to go in with Bia Bella in the shade or the type blah so i'm just going to plan my lashes off camera just because it's going to be a quick bit and then we'll get off to lips okay so there's the lashes on super cute so i'm going to go in again with some of the anastasia beverly hills and just pop that in my inner corner just make it pop in a little bit more of my nose and um, so then for lips because my eyes are quite they're like neutral like a pink neutral if that makes sense so i think i can go a little bit bold with the lips so i'm going to use this one from catrice i think it was number 34 or something but this is the color it is it's kind of wiped off um the end of it so i don't have any liner here with me but i'd probably use chestnut from mac um i'm just too lazy to go back in and get it but i'd probably use chestnut from mac just because it's that bit brown and I was fine when I used chestnut with a dark colour it always comes out really well <clears throat> so that is the end of today's tutorial super cute and easy and these you can get these makeup like revolution palettes in loads of different colours and um, I like this one and I do have one that has some other colours as well and I have a few of them but this one is my favourite because I think you can achieve so many different looks from it because there's just so many different options to choose from um, yeah, and the pigment comes out really well. Get yourself some Duraline for the sh for the shimmery kind of shades, and then you get them to come out a little bit more shimmery. But Duraline works well with everything, highlighters and every everything you can imagine. You need yourself some Duraline. But yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on my makeup. Um, I'm really happy with this look. I think it is super cute to wear and yeah i'm trying to go a little bit more bolder i'm sick of doing the last while i've just been doing loads of neutral looks and i miss kind of using color and i like having color in my eyes so the last couple of weeks i've been trying to get back into it because after halloween you kind of it's not that you're sick of doing makeup but it's like oh you just want to do something a little bit basic but then after doing like two basic looks you kind of want to add a little bit of color in yeah so this is a little bit purpley i think it comes up a little bit lighter on camera because the light that's shining but it is super nice and it is quite dark and you can mix it with a few different um liners lip liners to match it in so yeah 
Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe, of course, if you've liked or if you do have any comments or if you've liked me, subscribe. Check out some of my other videos and all my other social links. Media links are all linked below, so please go check them out. And thank you for clicking in. I really appreciate it and see you again.